Hello everybody, this is Chris. And we're gonna get started on this index uh, that played the PHP file first. But um, first we need to fix something. And it was my mistake. It was in the last tutorial and I did not. We have a variable here, a task, but we're not returning it. We need to return it. So I'm just gonna say with uh, tasks and then task. Plural. Okay, and that should work for us. And we'll go ahead and start with this index. So, first say extends layouts dot master. And we'll go ahead and add section content. We'll go ahead and add our stop. And let's go ahead and dive into this. Now, first we're going to give us ourselves some margin here so we'll say a div so a column uh, medium 12 which is the same thing as a regular span 12 in the old bootstrap <coughs> and we'll just say style we'll just do inline style and I'm not worried about uh, anything really margin top 50 picks let me spell top right here. And inside this div here, we're going to have our link to create a new task, and it's going to use the link to route. So link to route. <clears throat> and it takes four parameters. Actually, you can do get by with just two, but we're adding a class to this, so it's going to have four. So the first one's the actual name of the route. So task dot uh, create. Next one is the value or the name. The name is going to be present on the button. So we're going to say add a new task. Next is going to be data that you're going to pass through with it. We're not passing through anything, but you cannot leave this blank. I've seen that if you pass through null, it'll work. So that's just in my experience. It might be a different way, but I know that passing through null works. And we're going to give our button a class of uh, button and button primary, which are just the bootstrap buttons. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if we return any tasks, we're going to do something. If not, we're going to do something else. So, what does that call for? It calls for an if else. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, if tasks which is what we're pass we just passed through uh, count if there's any uh, anything returned we want to say h4 these are your tasks all right these are your current tasks and I'm gonna have a div or actually another div so column medium 8 here I'm trying to get through this I'm trying not to take a lot of time and just this HTML part so we're gonna have a table inside this div with a class of table uh, table bordered and table striped Okay, so we have our T head here. We have our total rows, headers. We're going to do five of these. So, five. First one's going to be task. Oh, shoot. Do... That's not what we want to do. I don't want to button my head here. Go back. So, we're going to say task completed. Created, edit, and delete. Next, we're going to go ahead and have our body, so T body. And <clears throat> so for each value, for each task that is returned, 
we're going to do something. So that calls for a for each loop. So at for each, and we'll just say tasks as just t. We're going to return a table row and some data. So say td times five, since that's what we did before. Td times five. The first one is going to be the task itself. So t task, and we went down to another line. I don't need to do that. <clears throat> the next one is going to be if you saw the demo, I did had one for completed and not completed, and then the updated at when it was completed at. So in here we're going to have an if else also. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a room here. And we're going to say at if we want to say task completed or task not completed. So t uh, completed. It doesn't need to be capitalized. Completed equals zero. If it's false, we're going to say span uh, dot label dot label danger. So it's going to be red. I'm going to say not completed. Okay, and let's go ahead and tab this in a little bit here. Else, <coughs> excuse me, span that label, the label, what is it here? We're doing success, success. I'm going to do this, if we do this times two, yes we can, because we're going to need two of these. The first one is going to say completed, and the second one is actually going to be the carbon representation of the date, or the time when it was uh, completed. So, I'm going to say carbon, which we already called in the setup, so create Carbon create from timestamp <clears throat> from timestamp, and we're going to string to time. So string to time, which is just basic PHP, and we're getting to create the updated at. So updated at, and then we're going to change it to a diff for humans. That way, it's how many seconds ago it was. So diff for humans. So that's that. And then we're just going to go ahead and at and if. And I'm going to stop the video here and create a part two because we're already at almost eight and a half minutes. And I'll see you in the next video.